just a black 3 8 ounce spinnerbait with a big old fat gold blade on it. Jeez. Ah, oh, man. Whew. Now these guys will act a fool once you get them out of the water. They just don't stop fighting. Chill out. And they slimy, and you can't lip them because they got teeth. Anyways, got the spot on his tail. I do a grinnel catch and cook. So supposedly Grinnell cannot be frozen. So if you want to eat one, you need to clean it and cook it the day that you catch it. They say that the meat will not hold up to be frozen and thawed out. I haven't tested this theory, but I don't want to waste a fish on it either, so I abide by it. That being said, I clean Grinnell just like I would any other fish. Start behind the gills, go to the spine, cut through the ribs, all the way to the end of the tail. Once you get your piece of meat cut off, you go ahead and grab the skin side and then fillet the skin off of the meat just like you would any other fish. And these fish do not have any extra bones in them besides the ribs, no Y bones or anything like that. So the only thing you have to do to make a boneless fillet is to cut that rib section out. Then you have a solid chunk of meat. Once you get your fillets cut out, you can go ahead and trim off any excessive red meat. It could give your fish a little off-putting flavor, and that's across the board with any kind of fish that you're going to catch. And I always cut my fish into small pieces, no matter when I'm going to cook it. If I'm going to put it up or not, you're not going to fry a big old fillet anyways. Alright, so I've eaten grinnell before, a couple years ago. I thought it was really, really good, but to be honest, I had several cold drinks that night, so today will be kind of like all over again. I hate frying fish in my house, but I don't really feel like going outside and moving the camera and all that crap. I'm kind of lazy, I'm sorry. Anyhow, we got some oil set to 350 degrees, and we are ready to cook. So here are the fillets. I just kind of cut them up in little nuggets. The meat is very, very soft, almost jelly-like. Uh, I can see it being off-putting to a lot of people, but uh, it'll firm up once you cook it, so don't stop before you even start. I got a little egg wash, and then I just got Zatarans. I've actually never had Zatarans fish fry before, but I'll give it a try. It's kind of feeling lazy. Like I said earlier, I didn't feel like making my own. What we're going to do is just take them, egg wash, roll them in the flour, make sure it's good and coated. And then right into the oil. All 
All right, Jen, we're going to give it a little try. Smells good. Last time I had this, I swore up and down that this was the best fish I've ever had, freshwater. The more I thought about it, and you know, you see so many people talk about grinnel ain't worth a crap, they taste muddy, they're no good, they're trash fish. Maybe them PBRs had something to do with my judgment on the fish. But I am telling you, this is probably my favorite freshwater fish. I mean, it really is. It's super, super soft. It's, it's soft fish. It's not like just mushy. Once you cook it, it's not mushy, but it's it's softer than catfish if you can imagine that it's almost has a, a it's not white it's it's almost gray uh, i'm probably not selling the fish very good saying that but I mean, i'm telling you it's freaking good if i wanted to compare it to anything maybe catfish like the the cleanest tasting catfish you've ever had in your life is grinnell that's exactly what it tastes like Every once in a while you get a catfish that just tastes, it's weird to say a fish that doesn't taste fishy, but a catfish that doesn't have any kind of off-putting fishy taste at all, that is what Grinnell is. If you like catfish, you will freaking love Grinnell. Give it a try. All right, I am fixing to make me a little lunch and probably lay down and take a nap. I appreciate you guys.